What's up my seals, Sealthard here and as you see here on the screen we are buying a Jaume Senior. Now you may have noticed he's not quite in the right formation but I believe with the right amount of players around him he'll end up fitting in quite nicely and he should get at least 8 or 9 chemistry so we should be alright and if worse comes to worse I'll just discard him and buy another one, I didn't pay that much for him. And we're going to have this first game and we've got this guy who's got a quite unique team, he's got 3 at the black, at the black? <laughs> 3 at the back. And up front he's got Andy Johnson and Robbie Blake, and Robbie Blake actually sets up that goal, the legend that he is. Fortunately, we managed to fight back from that, still on in the first half, we get the one goal, Jean Moutinho feeds it into Saviola, who smashes one past the keeper, just slows down, and if you didn't know guys, every single action you do in FIFA does affect the outcome of your shot on pass or whatever. So for example, if you're sprinting, it will make a difference how much power and how much like, control you've got over the shot. If the ball's not right next to the player, if he has a bit of a run up to it, all these kind of things, if it's bouncing, you know what I mean. It all does actually affect the game, and is the physics on this game is quite complex, despite what you may think. I mean, obviously, there's things that are still wrong with the game, but there's things like that which are very detailed and add to the realism. <laughs> you see, this has been quite a crazy game. It's 3 all at this point, and Saviola gets two on goal. I almost messed this up because the keeper just followed me, but I ended up putting it around him with a finesse shot. That made it 4-3 and that was the end of the game, so I'm out of the match for Saviola. And we're going to jump into our next game. I don't think we'll make any changes. I think I might have rotated a few players, so I've got quite low ratings. But I don't have any good players anyway, to be honest. There's only Saviola. And this guy's got an... Well, I would say it's scruffy, but it's not too bad, really. He's got all Koreans. He's got Fraser Campbell and some Charlton guy up front. I can't remember what he's called, but... We got in front with a nice little strike from Saviola, he's not got a good keeper, I mean if I was going to make a scruffy team myself I would at least make sure I had a decent keeper but Fraser Campbell scored a nice goal there and he's been doing quite well in real life as well Fraser Campbell's coming back from a long injury stint and he's been doing pretty alright, I don't think he deserved to get in the England team but that's just me and I understand that he wasn't really ever going to be a serious contender for that role but you see that game ended 2-1 to us, not the best of games to be honest but we go up against this guy next who's got a somewhat unique team, he's got an MLS team with 3 at the back as well uh, you, you see a few MLS teams but it's not as often as you see like Brazilian, French League, English League so it's a bit different and we get in front with a goal from Saviola as per usual because we don't really have anything else going forward and then he does a nice little roulette, gets the one goal again just slow it down so we can control the shot more and drill it past the keeper into the top corner and Saviola does another nice turn, gets away from this play, you think he's going to get his hat trick keeper comes out and he ends up dropping to Huttenbrenner, <laughs> some random guy I got out of my packs in the, in the start and that made it three he does actually begin a fight back with one of the scruffiest goals I've ever made, my keeper does some he does two saves but he just really just palms them back to his striker so he ends up getting the goal there and then Hutton Brenner again on for his second this time makes it 4-1 to us. Keeper really should have done better there but that was 4-1 to us and then he gets the one goal this time with Harris. Couldn't really stop him, he had too much pace for us and then he, Harris this time turns provider setting up Kanji who gets a goal to make it 4-3 so I was a bit worried at this point because he's catching us up so we get the one goal with Saviola and he just chips the keeper. Finally getting his hat-trick, that made it 5-3. And then we find Saviola again, does another roulette, and for the life of me, I have no idea how that goal goes in, but that made it 6-3. And Saviola again, through on goal. Brilliant finesse shot, I mean, I've slagged him off before, but that's a nice little goal there. And another one, keeper is not good, so maybe it wouldn't have gone in otherwise. But 8-3 at the end of that game. Finally, we've got a big scoring game, and... For some reason this guy felt like watching the final little cutscene and the replays but eventually he does skip and man of the match there shared between Hutton Brenner and Saviola so after this players had run out of contract and I thought I'd just do what I normally do buy some players for like 200 250 coins and I even got one for 150 you see there and there's a bit of a problem with this in that there's only one league on the game from Portugal so it's more of a struggle to get players for that are bronze or silver that I can just put in the team for the time being so I don't really know what I'm going to do about that, but we've put them in the team, it gives us a bit more chemistry, and we're going to go into this next game, and this guy's got a few Premier League players as well, some just random players, I mean he's got the Angie Match catch goal keeper, a player from Yunnan Tigres I think it is, and then just some random Premier League players, not good Premier League players on this game, but he's got them nonetheless, and Kevin Davies, actually one of the players, smashes one in, great strike from him, and then some very poor defending positioning, 
I was kind of just pressing him too much, giving him too much space. And you see I do it again there. I go to make the tackle. I should have just stood my ground and used the other player. But Welbeck makes it three. And then Davis gets his second to make it four. So we've lost that game. Poor performance from me. But I was pressing too much and we didn't really have anything to counter-attack with. So I thought I was going to have to. So after this I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a left winger. Because I really just want some more potency going forward. So first up we've got Varela. Plus for FC Porto, he's got 5 star skills if you didn't know, 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 74 shooting, 76 passing, a very good player, I've used him before, one of my favourite players to use and he's very cheap as well. Next up we've got Diego Capel, plus for Sporting Lisbon, 86 pace, 83 dribbling, so he's probably better running with the ball but 60 shooting is not good at all and 71 passing. That's going to be alright for like crossing it in. I'm not sure what footed he is. Maybe he's left footed. He can do some crosses into the box. Finally, we've got Yannick Jallo. Plays for Benfica. Very fast. 91 pace. 76 dribbling, is it? 73 shooting, so he's not the best at shooting. And also 69 passing, which isn't great either. But let me know you want to buy in the comments, guys. Still thought out. We'll just see love approval.